Love at me behind my back. Angela Gibson, I will get you for this. It was the last thing I do. Get me Mrs. Williamson's file. I also need the results of her blood test. Okay? Alright. I want to know why that girl was so frightened when I told her about the pregnancy. I'm used to seeing newlyweds beaming with happiness when they're told. But this time I was asked to suppress the news. Sandra, you're looking pretty today. Thank you, Doc. Which poor young man is in trouble now? Thank you. Thank you. the last time we visited the doctor? Yes, Angel. How could I forget? We go back next week, right? Yes, we do. When we were there the last time, 
The doctor suggested that I could be pregnant. He called me this morning to confirm that I am. Oh, I knew a Dr. Philip suspected this almost four weeks and no one bothered to tell me. You made me wait all this time. It is my fault. I told him I was going to tell you myself. I oh. only wanted to be sure. My own godfather hid this from me? Please, it isn't his fault. Don't blame him. I told him I would tell you myself. Why, Angel? Didn't you think I wanted to share this joy with you? I'm sorry, Peter. I'm sorry. Don't get angry. It's just that I wanted to be sure, that's all. I'm sorry if I didn't do the right thing. I'm sorry. You're my baby. Peter, please, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Angel. How can I complain when you're telling me such fantastically good news? I just want to hold you for a while and say thank you. I just want our child to know how much we love him. I just want him to feel the love surge between us. Hey, wait a minute. Angel, do you think you can feel all the love flowing from me to you? Yes, he can. I'm sure he can. careful next time. I'm just lucky that I can always blow Peter's mind with my love making. The poor fool is completely besotted. He needs my body like an addict needs a fix. I'm going to use it in my favor. The day he gets control of that money, I will milk it from him until every red cent is in my name. And dear Peter, you are in for the ride of your life, and it's going to be rough. Big matter, champagne please. I have an announcement to make. I bring you to the balcony. Shall we all go to the balcony? Toast. Let us drink to my beautiful wife who is about to make me a proud papa. Mother! Oh, mother, your dream! So it was Angela all the time. Oh, we are going to be grandparents. <laughs> Congratulations, mom. I was not here when Peter was born, but I'm definitely going to be his son's nanny and grandmother all rolled into one. How do you know it's going to be a son? I just know it, Master Pete. It's all in my dream. <laughs> Congratulations, oh. Mom! <laughs> Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Princess. How are you feeling this morning? Very well, thank you. Peter, what are you doing on Wednesday? Well, Padre wants me to meet the president of 
two of the charitable organizations that Daddy was working with. I'm sorry. It's going to be another late night again, sweetheart. Don't worry. I want to go into town to see what the shops have to offer and to meet a few of the town folks. You know, I have been very antisocial since I came and I need to change that image right now. <laughs> I might even take in a show. Wow, that's wonderful, honey. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Of course not. I need some new clothes. And you know how I love to browse. Anyway, you hate shopping with me. It's just that you ladies stay too long to make up your damn minds. Right, Bajo? You're so right, son. Take women. We go in, pay for what we want, and we are out. No problem. However, in all fairness to Angela, I know some men who are worse than the ladies when they go shopping. <laughs> Thank you, Pajo. Thank you. My husband just doesn't understand. And in the end, it boils down to a matter of choices. We have so many, and you guys have so few. At least, Angela, if I can't come with you, let me give you the link on, so that some can help you. Pajo and myself will use the Lexus. Won't hear of it. I know about these meetings of yours and how much you rely on your driver to get you there on time. While you sit and make your last minute adjustments in the car, I would rather use the Lexus. Okay, honey. If that's what you want, it's fine. Just make sure nothing happens to you, okay? I love you too much. Hello? Hello? Hello, Angela. Scott, I can't meet you where you suggested. It's far too dangerous and I can't take the chance to be seen with you now. So what do you suggest, Angela? Where will you be staying? At the Belmont as usual. Okay, I'd rather meet you there. It's quite out of the way and very private. Hey, are you there? Go on, Angela. This is what I'll do. I'll pack my car in the shopping mall parking lot. You can pick me up from there. I'll call you to confirm everything before Wednesday. I really am in no mood to fight Angela. I know how evil she can be. But I love her so much. I do hope we can work something out. Why the hell did Angie do this to me? After all we've gone through together. It must have been a damn fool to think she cared about me. I must admit I was taken by complete surprise. Hello, Diana. Yeah, um, will you book me for the first flight on Wednesday to Maryland? Then cancel all appointments for the rest of the day. Yeah, if you need me, I'll be at home. Right. Hello, have you got any antacids? Yes ma'am, right over here. Five dollars. Pardon me, but you are new in town, aren't you? Yes, I live at Terry's Villa. Oh, you are Master Peter's wife. We heard a lot about you and how pretty you are. Master Peter sure has good taste. You are beautiful. Well, thank you. You're so kind. Something sexy, uncrushable, and drop dead gorgeous. This is me. I'll be there as planned.
Good morning, ma'am. You're looking very nice this morning. Will you be going out? Thank you. And yes, I will be going out if the rain stops. Anyway, tell Martha I won't be back for lunch. Okay, ma'am. Looking good, girl. Wow. And that scent, Chanel number no. five. I remember when I first met you. I tried to be cheeky with you by asking you what you wear in bed. <laughs> what do you want from me, Scott? Look at you. Marriage hasn't changed you one bit. Look as beautiful as ever. For God's sake, why are you stopping? I just wondered if you like a stop for something to eat. I hear they have some very lovely restaurants around here. No, I would rather you go to the hotel and order room service. I don't want to take the chance of anyone seeing us together. Nothing I do should jeopardize my position in this family. I would rather get rid of you first, Scott. And that I can do without batting an eyelid. You may have to do that, Angela. But please tell me. What did I do wrong? I have loved you more than I have loved any other woman in my life. What happened? What did I do wrong? It happens all the time, Scotty. Men leave women. Women leave men. No big deal. It's only your pride that's hurting. And knowing you the way I do, it shouldn't take you too long a time to get over me. What the hell are you talking about, Angela? Do you have any idea how much I love you? I have been waiting all these years. Remember, I was the one who kept asking and you kept telling me to wait. <laughs> Angela, I know all your scheming, dirty little game. Just don't lie to me. I have covered for you once before. I want to do it again. So, tell me, my friend, how is that sexy looking daughter in law of yours treating you? Look, is everything all right? <laughs> Well, I don't remember the last time you invited us to one of your nights out. Joe, you remember? We used to have so much fun. What has happened to all that? Guys, we've been friends for years. You two were there for me when Mrs. Williamson died. And the old man took it so badly until he eventually died. Is there a point to all that? You. Where are we heading? Yeah, Joe. What's up? Tell us something, man. And stop beating about the bush, huh? Come on. Well, Angela is pregnant. <laughs> hey, give us a bottle of your best vintage. We have some <laughs> celebrating to do. Congratulations, old boy. You're going to become a grandfather. That's wonderful. Drink on us, everybody. Oh, we are going to be grandfathers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Angela. You have my undivided attention for the rest of the afternoon. What have you got to say to me? I think I deserve an explanation. It's quite simple, Scott. 
I do not love you enough to marry you. I don't think it was fair to both of us. How long have we been going out together, Angela? Four years. Why? Four years. Four bloody long years. Throughout those four years, we screwed our hearts out. Did everything. Went everywhere. so close. What period of those four years did you realize you didn't love me, Angela? Was it when you realized how rich Peter was? Or when you found out you were expecting my child? And suddenly, you realized I wasn't rich enough for you? Damn it! What the hell are you saying? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't just lie to me, Angela. Or else I swear. I will strangle you with my bare hands and put an end to all this pain I'm feeling. And all this goddamn lies you're telling me. Do you know, Angela? I was hoping you'd come clean. But your evilness knows no limit. Does it? Have you lost your senses, Scott? Put that blasted knife away, or else I'll walk out of this room this minute. If you don't have anything to tell me, then let me go home. Now you listen to me. I know you're four months pregnant. My sister told me. And unless you're sleeping with Peter the same time you're sleeping with me, that baby is mine. Shit. How the hell did his sister know? How do I get out of this? Come on, girl. Don't panic. You are Angela. I'm starving. Can we get room service or something? <sighs> yeah, um, this is room 218. Yes, um, can you get me two chicken salads, um, a bottle of Bailey's Irish cream, and um, a bottle of Johnny Walker Black? Yeah. Uh, how long? Fine. I also know Peter is worth $150 million. Oh, I read Fortune magazine too, Angela. In fact, I read a very article on his father. From your own copy that you circled with a red pen and hid in your drawer. My God. It's worse than I thought. I have to think what to say to him. Let him talk. It's better to hear all now. Yes, Angela, I'm onto your dirty tricks. Now, can you imagine if Peter's lawyers got hold of this information? Now, hear this, Angela. You can never fool me. I am just like you. Don't take this as a compliment. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> 